All right, so engine braking, what is it, how to do it, when to use it? Um, I am going to be demonstrating this on Blood Mountain in Georgia. Uh, we're in the North Georgia Mountains, like I said, Blood Mountain. So what is engine braking? Engine braking is using the bike's engine to slow it down, right? So you don't use your actual brakes. Um, I mean, there's a lot of controversy online, and the main argument is pads are cheaper than a transmission. So I feel that engine braking is very useful, especially on the mountain, because it just it feels right. So what, uh, if you want to search on Wiki what engine braking is and get all technical with it, be my guest. Just know it has to do with uh, some type of cyclone with the engine and stuff, and uh, something like that. So I don't really know the technical thing. So if you're ever on your bike and you're going fast, and you realize, and, and you like let go of the throttle, and notice that it's going, uh, like the, it revs up. Not oh, revs up, that's just, I know. All right, so if you're, if you're riding, and you shift down, you like downshift, you notice your RPMs go up, if you don't give it any more throttle. Well, if you continue like that, the bike will slow itself down all the way to, I mean, at least 20 miles per hour. So what you can do on the mountain instead of engine brake, or instead of braking, you know, with your, your front brake, you can engine brake into turns, which is what I like to do. So right now, I'm going about 47, and let's say this turn is too tight. When I let off the throttle, it's gonna do that, right? So the, the RPMs are gonna go down. Ooh, that was not safe. All right, so I'm going to shift up to third and be flying. I'm going to go really fast, and I'm going to show you how to engine brake into a turn. And keep in mind, I'm not a professional. All right, so I'm going fast, right? Uh, pretty quick. So let's say this turn is go is I don't want I want to slow down. You see how my RPMs go up, and then they start bringing back down. The bike will slow itself down. The motion to do that with. You don't just downshift. You don't just pull in your clutch and shift it down and then let the clutch out. What you do is you have to do this simultaneously at one time. So it's one fluid thing. Hold on, let me get through these little turns. Okay. So the technique, let me shift up again. And all right, so you're going to pull your clutch in. This is all the same time, remember. Pull the clutch in. Shift down, a slightly apply the front brake, and blip your throttle. What blipping your throttle is going to do is match your RPMs or match your revs to when your bike downshifts. So it's already in the rev range that it's going to go to once you downshift. So watch to six. You see how I did that? Blip the throttle, RPMs go up, downshift, and then once since you blipped your throttle, blipping is simply rolling on the throttle, just, that's blipping. It's really quick. You don't hold it at all. You just throw it down real quick and let it come right back up. So let's, uh, I think we're in third, I don't really know. So I'm just gonna do this in a straight line instead of in a turn, okay? 
Alright, all right, we're at eight. See how I did? So yeah, it's just uh lift your throttle, downshift, and uh, lightly apply those brakes, uh, front brake. Don't do the rear brakes, you don't want to get fucked up. So, uh, so that's engine braking. See, the, the bike will even, if, like, I'm on an R6, and if I have the RPMs high enough, the engine will brake itself just rolling off the throttle. Okay? So you don't even have to downshift. Look at that. It's slowing me down already, especially at a lower gear. So a lot of times you can just come into a turn, let off the throttle, and it'll start slowing you down, ideally enough to go through the turn, uh, which is what I do a lot. If you're going to stay in, your, in the same, um, if you're going to stay on the same gear, you know, and you don't want to downshift to slow down, you can also do that. Just keep your revs high so it can bring you, it has somewhere to go and bring you back down.